Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I'm ready, a little frightened, but ready. Of course, the scariest part of most of these runs lately has been the character selection, and that is true for Eden as well. We start with a decent amount of HP, no frame rate, but IV bag, demon baby. Here's our seed as well. APKL Sheb. I don't know what this means. Um, if it has any special kind of meaning, it's beyond me. For now, let's see if I can fix the frame rate here. It's looking a little chunky. Just give it a minute. Give it a minute. If it doesn't get better after a minute, we're going to have a little bit of a problem here. This is not going to be an easy one to do. Um, <laughs> this is, like, really bad. Okay. Sometimes this fixes it. If we go exit game, but do not go to new game. Go to continue. I don't know what's been causing this lately. See, it seems like it's smooth right there, but then when we get into the game, it's, like, super chunky. Oh, my God. Not super trampy. That's a totally different thing. Let's try um, signing out of Skype. In the meantime, how's it going, everybody? Are you having a good time? I'm having a good... I wonder if it's the fact that there is a YouTube video uploading right now. Could this possibly be a speed... Oh, never mind. All you needed was a speed upgrade, apparently. Um, I have an idea. I know we have Book of Sin, but we can at least do this. Hurt ourselves like that, and we just got the goat head for real cheap. Um, I'm not gonna sweat using IV bag on the way out. Oh my god, yes. Uh, we're still gonna go to the other room. It's probably best to use it now, though. Might as well see what we can get. And, and certainly nine lives is something I would like to pick up here. And then we can take either the ability to fly or Guppy's hairball. Or Guppy's collar. I'm gonna take Guppy's collar to start with. This is stellar. It's fantastic. Um, from now on, we're probably gonna roll Book of Sin, though. So now we have... Uh, basically unlimited deals with the devil, and we have two guppy items before even encountering what would normally be our first deal with the devil. So, even though the starting items here are not that amazing, even though our HP is a little poor, we have, you know, survivability, and the fact that we, uh, have basically unlimited deals with the devil for the rest of the game, well, until the cathedral at least, should mean that we have an extremely good chance of becoming guppy, and as is the norm for, for a few of our, or a lot of our most recent runs, this one is, uh, it's looking already like it's a little bit... I, it's way too early to actually say this and feel good about it, but it is looking like this could be a good situation here. I'm hoping, at least, that it could be a good situation here. HP is the only thing that gives me a little bit of pause. I would have loved to have gotten the ability to fly, but just wasn't in the cards for us, and that's okay. What do you think? Spirit Heart or a Bomb? Well, we don't have a Bomb to buy, so I will buy the Spirit Heart instead. It's a shame because we could have gotten 12 cents out of it, which would have been awesome to get Humbling Bundle. That's worth way more than, um, you know, what we actually ended up picking up. Maybe that'll end up happening with uh, Famine here. Or not with Famine, sorry, obviously, but with Book of Sin. Sorry, my brain's a little uh, little frazzled. It's like Sunday, well, it's not like Sunday morning. It is Sunday morning here. Normally, I'm a, I'm a late riser, I'll admit. I'm, I'm late to bed, uh, late to rise. I know Benjamin Franklin said, you know, or Mark Twain or Henry Ford or Adolf Hitler or Albert Einstein said early to bed early to rise makes a man healthy wealthy and wise do you follow all of the advice from the 1700s next time you get uh, you know an infection in your body why don't you just never take medicine and die at the age of like 20 instead you know if you're gonna be following these Ben Franklin quotes all the time oh we did get a bomb <clears throat> that's still not gonna be enough to allow us to get humbling bundle though so do we get 12 cents or do we get a Tinted Rock? I honestly think we get the Tinted Rock. It's a little bit dubious, though. Here's a 21st century quote for you from Northern Lion. Um, early to bed, early to rise, unless you don't want to, and then just go to bed and wake up whenever the heck you want. That's that's uh, how I've lived my life, and it's it's working out pretty okay right now. But uh, I woke up super early. We had kind of like a building emergency in our apartment but it's not a it's not an emergency and ended up being a false concern which is good but I figured you know I'm the kind of guy I can sleep for a long time but if I wake up I'm done so I was like I might as well just wake up and play some Binding of Isaac but I've had my coffee I actually feel good probably around you know 2 p.m. in the afternoon which is my favorite 2 p.m. Uh, is is where uh, I will completely crash and be completely useless so that'll be great for the sub stream but anyway you don't have to worry about that, at least not right now. This floor is all of a sudden extremely important because I can almost take the rest of the run off when it comes to, like, Isaac's skills. We're going to get a deal with the devil. It would almost be better... 
sort of. If we died and then came back with one red heart. Because then we could actually take deals. Sometimes spirit heart deals won't take if you don't have enough. But I'm not sure if that's due to having a combination of blah, 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 blah. It doesn't really matter. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. For now, I am going to come in here. And we were hoping for more spirit hearts. And that's exactly what we got. And we also got bombs of key, which is a great time to pick up that pill. Or use that pill, at least, when it actually does nothing for us. I'm not even being sarcastic. Sounds like I'm being bitter, but I'm not. It's actually a fantastic situation for us. I really wouldn't have wanted anything else. Well, you know, a, a, an actual upgrade might have been nice, but apart from that. So do not use Card Against Humanity yet. <laughs> if we get Petrified Poop, I'll consider it. Without Petrified Poop, it's extremely unlikely that I'll take advantage of this. But, uh... I recognize that Card Against Humanity, Big Room, Petrified Poop is really good. Kate and I did that on one of her co-op runs recently, and it literally gave us maybe like 60 cents on a double Big Room. You know, not just a long room, but like a Big Room. That's awesome. What about this? That's uh, actually also pretty good. We might want to go to our shop instead of our item room, or at least our shop prior to our item room. Certainly we want to use a bomb here first, just to... I mean, we want to use a bomb in both locations, but we wanted to see if we can get the secret room. Oh, I'm... Could have gotten the key out of that, but we can still get the key out of it. It's just not as convenient. Let's look for... I'm, I'm liking my luck so far. Let's look for, like, a magic mush. I believe. We got a pill. Full of health. I mean, again, good to know. Not immediately useful, but good to know. And we also know where our secret room is, so we don't have to waste our time looking for it uh, on the other side of the map, which is nice. No tinted rock, but it looks like a, an area where there could be a tinted rock in the future if we uh, could be so lucky. I'll try it. I do not regret this decision, actually. It should lead to more keys in the future. Now, our shop uh, is actually a nice little stopgap for us here, because we can pick up this... And uh, now we can go to our item room, and we don't necessarily need to get a penny drop to get some keys, even though we will probably get a penny drop anyway. Uh, and now, again, if we could just get Petrified Poop on this specific room, we could pick up like 30 keys, probably. That's uh, full health? Full health. A quarter. Don't really like broken stopwatch, so I think we'll, um, we'll probably just leave. And by probably, I mean we're already gone, so you're gonna miss me then, apparently. I was really hoping for a bomb, but another key's not that bad. There's been a lot of tinted rocks. Not all of them have worked out fantastically, but the ones that have have worked out really, really nicely. It's all about that uh, that first goat head followed by the deal with the devil, though. That's just crazy good luck. All right, Monstro. I, I should probably try to avoid taking damage, but if we end up having to kill ourselves to take a good deal with the devil, I don't really care. The only thing that would be nice is to be able to take two deals with the devil. So let's try to keep our HP above three just so we can guarantee that that can actually happen. Three and a half is not ideal, but it's it's over three. And a little bit of extra damage. Followed by the Pact, which is a totally guilt-free pickup. So, that's pretty good. It's not the guppy item I was hoping for right here, but it is, it's a start. And that's uh, our first little, well, combined with uh, Blood Clot, I guess it's our damage upgrade. Our first damage upgrade that we've gotten so far. Happy to have it. Happy we got out of the way there. It was looking a little dangerous. And now our consumable game should be a little bit stronger. And, you know, Book of Sin is something that I will be looking to replace as soon as possible. It's really the, the principal problem with this run right now. Book of Sin's kind of, eh, it can be nice. I mean, you know, when it does that, it just kind of makes me laugh. Hey, uh, thanks for using Book of Sin. Here's a coupon for a free use of Book of Sin. It's, you know, why was I even here in the first place? Just save us all the time. It's actually good, though, on a, um, if you can get a library with, like, four books or four pedestals at least. And then Book of Sin pays out with a battery and you can re-roll it. It's quite good. So we should try to kill the Blue Larry Juniors last here. You know, there's a little bit of like a psychological phenomenon that happens when you start an Isaac run really, 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 really well. At least when it happens to me. Um, I start to play very sloppily as a result of the fact that I'm like, oh, I can afford to make mistakes. And then if your momentum in the you know mid to late game doesn't keep pace. Excuse me? Why didn't that pick up? Probably because I didn't walk over it, but, you know, if I could blame the game, I, I will blame the, blame the game for now. Cancer pickup is fantastic. Uh, and apparently we got a key out of that as well. I'm not entirely sure what's up with that, but I'll take it. And totally, there's options. And might as well take the spirit heart as well. I don't remember if that pill did anything for us, but... So I gotta, I gotta play smart, because otherwise that kind of um, inertia... Not inertia... 
It's the other one, the E-N-N-U-I. Ennui? That can kind of creep in, but that's not even really the word I'm looking for. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I've forgotten how to speak English. Uh, a dark bomb pickup here wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. How do you guys like to spend your Sunday? What's well, it's it's kind of a, uh, a bullshit question, but I've been thinking about it as I've you know opened up today, uh, waking up way earlier than I expected, followed by like some very bleary-eyed nuclear throne as I was drinking some coffee. I was like, you know what, this is pretty good. The only thing that would make this Sunday more perfect for me is if somebody would go out and get me a McDonald's breakfast. Now it's not a that's not me doing a passive-aggressive uh, command. Rather. It's just like, if someone had showed up with like a sausage and egg McMuffin and a hash brown and an orange juice, I would have been like, you know what? Thank you. You've enhanced my day. That's pretty much it. Don't even try to tell me. Well, you can tell me, but I'm going to disagree with you. McDonald's breakfast is nasty. Don't be a rude dude, okay? McDonald's breakfast has... This is what this the foundation of this continent was built upon was McDonald's breakfast, you know? Truck drivers, bus drivers, police officers, they're all having that delicious Mickey D's breakfast. And then, you know, saying, oh, this really should be the last one. But then you look it up and you're like, hey, maybe Egg Mac Muffins aren't actually that bad for you. But then you get that, you know, pain in your chest again and you go, no, nah, seriously, like, I should at least stop getting the hash brown. Oh, dark bum. This is, like, specifically what I asked for. So, if you would be so kind, thank you very much. Um, I... I'm gonna, no, yes, we've been to our shop, so let's go. We got there's options, we got Dark Bum, we got Torn Photo, we got some extra HP in the process, we got the Cancer Pickup, like, that was quietly a really, really good floor. I hate using that adjective, it's, it's used so much lately. If anyone ever does anything, it's quietly. Nobody ever does anything loud anymore, and that's not, you know, I'm a, a quiet or reserved person most of the time anyway, in spite of, you know, what your preconceived notions of that might be based on what I've, you know, locked into as a profession, I guess. However... It's always like, ooh, you know, Henrik Selene quietly had a really amazing... Yo, maybe, like, you should be louder about it then. Yo, media, if you're always saying quietly, you should report on these things so that people are more aware of it, as opposed to like, wow, uh, we had no idea. Isn't that your job? I don't know what we're gonna do with arcades. Like, we, we actually can't get HP. I mean, we can, we just haven't, I guess. Uh, but... We have no need either to blow up a, a judgment. I guess what we might actually want to do in an arcade is play the judgment. Probably not demon judgment, but play a regular judgment. And uh, as a result, maybe get some extra HP, which could be useful for us. Starting to slip a little bit HP-wise here, I'll admit. Uh, we've taken a little bit more damage than I'd like to admit, but I think that's kind of to be expected here. As we get into the next stage of the game. We haven't quite gotten as much damage as we've gotten uh, defensive items. And as a result, I think we're killing enemies more slowly than I'd like to, and that's leading to us actually indirectly taking damage. There's some HP for us. Fantastic. SMB Superfan showing up a lot lately. It seems like every uh, All Stats upgrade has, like, its time in the sun. We used to get the Halo a lot, then we got Magic Mushroom a lot. SMB Superfan, like, rarely showed up, and now it's showing up all the freaking time, but I'm not going to complain. Even though it sounds like I'm not, I'm not complaining. Actually, now that we have HP, we have, uh, I wouldn't say a limitless reservoir, but I'm gonna say it anyway because it sounds nice. A limitless reservoir of keys from which we can draw upon as long as we have, uh, the ability to get HP back. I don't want to say red hearts because I don't want to take red hearts from Dark Bomb, but you get the idea. Damage still a little, uh, leaving a little bit to be desired. Everything else, though, leads me to believe that this is probably going to be win 35, 34 for us. And then we go on Isaac run, and, uh, you know, you're not likely to see a loss on the Isaac run. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. Hey, hey, there we go. I'm mostly just happy, like, this is obviously recorded after yesterday, I guess by definition of the way that those words are defined, um, but, uh, by definition of the fact that I'm talking right now, but, uh, I'm, I'm really happy we're not on that last run we had yesterday that was so tricky. Look! I'll try it. I'll try it. I don't want to shy away from this challenge. We've gotten such incredible luck in the early game. And we've got a really, really nice defensive setup with Dark Bum. We got There's Options, we got Goat Head. I think that this is a totally acceptable choice. I, it will be bad temporarily. But if we pick up Libra or something like that, I think we got the chance. And you know what? Like, the more... 
it, you never, or I never thought that it would come to this, but the more I win consistently, the more I actually get self-conscious about how much winning there is, because I have people that are tweeting me and they're like, man, like, this series has become a little bit more boring ever since you've won all the time, and I apologize for using that voice. But I know you can't have it both ways, you know, I'm getting shit on in the comments for making bad decisions, all of a sudden I'm having a, a really good string of, of luck and perhaps also adequacy, and, and people are mad about that, you know? You can't always get what you want, but I'm trying to throw. This is the, the story of a, a man who can't lose, even though he's trying to. I'm, I'm taking reroll rooms on one runs, I'm using the D100, willy-nilly. And certainly, I'm going to choose to rock out with soy milk. What I would love to see is soy milk guppy. Obviously, soy milk libra, you know, soy milk um, piercing shots it helps with uh, negating the knockback a little bit. But uh, in terms of, like, insanity, I would love to see, like, an easy shortcut to success, if we don't already have a win here, would be uh, soy milk, which we already have, obviously. Uh, become guppy, doesn't really matter how. Maybe Guppy's head would be best. Then pick up Hive Mind. We're gonna be summoning a lot of flies. They're gonna do shit damage, but then we'll double their damage with Hive Mind. And and all of a sudden, um, you know, we got a, a very very serious run on an economy of scale level at least. And you can see, like, we're not uh, we're no slouch here when it comes to the Fallen. Another thing that would be awesome if we could get or another combination that would be awesome, like um, Lump of Coal plus many different things, Death's Touch. Etc. Etc. A tiny planet. This is a weird one. Probably Whore of Babylon. So this is where we have our our chance. Uh, very stupid damage on my part. This is where we have our chance to get uh, perhaps Lump of Coal. Lump of Coal would be amazing here. And yeah, we'll take Whore of Babylon, and I'll try to put myself in the Whore of Babylon state. Again, you know, we're getting a lot more deals with the Devil. This is only Caves too. I should not have checked the map there, but you get the idea. Ah, you, you screwed me a little bit here. Hematomesis. Well, this is uh, Dark Bum. Your time to shine. I think we take it. It'll it'll help us out on enemies that would otherwise piss us off. So, the... Uh, I don't love the items we picked up here. Like, I don't love the Whore of Babylon pickup. But it should work out for us better than Headless Baby. Is my thinking. We gotta check that. I'm actually like really thankful it's not a Perth Row room because I would have been kicking myself. Um, we'll get back down to the Horror Babylon state here. Now we should be doing like quite a lot of damage, which is great. I'm just a little. Yeah, we can go down. I'm just a little concerned now. Our HP is pretty bad, but we got all these deals with the devil still coming. We've already paid our Krampus tax. We didn't get much out of it. Like, I can't stress enough. Lump of coal. Would have really, really been amazing for us. Look at our range. It's it's largely due to our shot speed, but maybe entirely due to our shot speed. But uh, that's awesome. Okay, we got to really avoid picking up... Uh, oh, this is like perfect opportunity for that, even though I fucked it up a little bit. That's okay. He'll be dead in like 20 hits, which only takes a second or so. Dark Bum, you got to pick up all of those. The faster, the better, because if I pick him up, we're going to have uh, negative consequences. Okay, just wanted to do some orbital damage there. This should be easy enough. Uh, probably he will charge us a little bit, but it's okay. Again, piercing shots, man. Piercing shots is good. You know what else would be good? Mom's contact. Freeze the enemy in place. So they don't actually get uh, knocked around that much. Pisces would be terrible, but I'd take it because it's a tiers upgrade nonetheless. It would be the w one of the worst tiers upgrades, if not the worst tiers upgrade for us probably, but it would still be a tiers upgrade. These rooms are going to be a little tricky for us. Again, due to the knockback and the fact that the enemies are going to, you know, get rattled around here like crazy. Going to end up having brain injuries. But I guess, you know, a brain injury is probably the least of your worries in this situation. I don't even know if these gentlemen and ladies down here have brains. You know, I don't want to be uh, mammalianistic here. If they're, They might be some kind of uh, interesting life form, you know, that I'm not aware of. A silicone-based life form. I don't know. A tapioca-based life form. It's been a long time since I was in school. Uh, please. And thank you. So we got another uh, Krampus's head coming up. I, I'm gonna tr basically use this as if it was available, as if it was a one-room charge. Which is to say, like whenever it's available, first available opportunity, I'm gonna be popping it. 
and the bloat is a very good opportunity to do so. We probably could have gotten out of this uh, instantly. Like, we probably could have won the boss fight with this if I'd done my uh, attack properly. But I didn't. So instead, we will wait for whatever the deal with the devil gives us here. I, probably meat is our best choice, even though luck up could be nice. Let's see what we got in here. Guppy, guppy, guppy. No guppy, but Abaddon. So this puts us permanently in the Whore of Babylon state, which is very incredible for us. Oh my god, it's my alarm. <laughs> I forgot about you. No, that's all right. I'm already awake. All right. Um, the Abaddon pickup is... Trying to find the map. Abaddon pickup is fantastic. Puts us in the Whore of Babylon state guaranteed. I won't be able to fuck it up as easily. However... Um, but still, like, you know, the soy milk pickup is still a net negative for us here. But we can make it into a net positive very easily. We're, <laughs> there's a ver wide variety of items that, you know, if we pick them up would help us out a great deal. I'm still banking on that guppy item. I think it'll happen. Two guppy items on the first floor, and you're not going to bank on one showing up over the entire rest of the game? I don't think so. But this run has gotten to the point where it probably is winnable with soy milk, which is like... You know, if you're going to grade runs, it, like the same way you'd grade meat, you know, you got like your double A beef, your triple A beef, your lunchable quality meat, and then your like Kobe beef. This this is a Kobe run here. This isn't just a, a one run or a winning run. This is a, a, it's very difficult to say this. It's a run where you can win with soy milk. I don't know why. That that should be like, if you're taking a an English as a second language proficiency test, that should be like your final exam verbal question. Say this, it's a one run with soy milk. That's that's tough, man. It's tough for me, and I'm not trying to say I'm the best English speaker in the world, but it's by far the best language that I speak. I've been speaking it since before I can remember, technically. Can't say that for too many things in this life. Excuse me. Thank you. And... We're looking for item room and shop still. You know what would be actually incredible for us and another easy way to succeed? Let's ignore Hive Mind because I would want it, or BFF because I would want that. Um, if we could get uh, a red candle or a, a blue candle, or a black candle, that doesn't help us in the same way, but it's still good. That probably should not have worked. I botched it. Honestly, I might be better off with freaking Shoop the Whoop, but I, I can't really bring myself to do it. As much as it might be the better choice. I don't know, man. Shoop the whoop once every two rooms, or once every six rooms completely kill it? Ah, probably gotta be once every six rooms, but it's not its not an easy decision. You know what? We do have a, a choice guppy item now. Because we have Flat Penny, I should have realized this earlier, but because we have Flat Penny, Guppy's tail is our ideal one. But I'm not gonna turn up my nose and give me a hairball or something like that. Anything along those lines will work totally fine. Gotta check this, obviously. That's an extreme disappointment. And we don't even get a charge for it because they were contained within chests, which is horse hockey. You go into the room and the spiders are sitting there, that gives you a room charge. You go into the room and the spiders are hidden inside of the jack-in-the-box, nope. Tough luck, buddy. That's gonna hurt. Yep, 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 yep. You can, you can guess the direction wrong. If you guess the direction wrong twice, you're going down. I don't think that would have found the secret room anyway. So we're uh, we're on to the next floor, and obviously Boss Rush... Well, we're not on to the next floor, but we're like two rooms away. Obviously Boss Rush has, has passed us by here because of the soy milk pickup. That's alright. Hopefully. I mean, the Boss Rush, it, it wasn't that big of a deal anyway. Oh, that was so close to actually being like one of the first times I've ever done this room properly. I owe that to uh, Demon Baby. Demon Baby hooked me up there. Oh, come on. Thank you for not hitting me twice. You easily could have. HP's looking a little scary, especially considering we picked up Abaddon on this very floor. Thought we could at least get one. Uh, but that's, it's par for the course, you know. We got uh, another deal with the devil coming up right away. Well, maybe not right away, but very, very shortly. Curse of Darkness is not that relevant. If you're, this is sloppy play, I'll just call it out straight out. If you're gonna be using Krampus' head on that room, you can't take damage on it. Like, it's it's an easy enough room to not take damage on. Don't let my hubris be the downfall here. Don't let the soy milk 
be what changes this into a loss. Okay, well, we have not much need for the key relative to the risk it might carry to try to get it. Um, and I, I don't really want to do the boss trap room. Excuse me, there's still one more? Yeah, I don't really want to do the boss trap room for just a... Oh, it's going to fuck up Horror Babylon, but it's still pretty good. Uh, I don't, I don't want to do it for just a red chest, is what I'm trying to say in a very roundabout fashion here. So, Horror Babylon is, is going to be non-existent for a minute here. Now Guppy's Paw all of a sudden becomes a very viable take as well. I can't believe I got him. I can believe it, but I wish I didn't get hit there. That's always the conundrum. We'll take Mom's Purse. Um, we'll buy the Spirit Heart. We'll buy the Pill. We'll buy the Bomb. We might even want to switch because we have Flat Penny. I think we could probably switch. And it's going to seem unpopular if we get Guppy's Tail, but I think this is the right call. Do this and then start building our keys back up by doing stuff like this. Two bombs to get the... Uh, Two cents, one key, and also a spirit heart. Yeah, that's why I wanted these bombs, is so we can, you know, blow up skulls, blow up tinted rocks, stuff like that, and blow up slot machines, fortune tellers, and, and that should pay out with uh, stuff that Dark Bum can actually use. No hive mind, no BFF, both of which would have been uh, pretty nice. That's the way it goes, though. Let's try this. I didn't get the skull either? Okay, that's disappointing. I gotta go back for that. This would have been a... There's a rune, obviously, I'm gonna go back for. But this would have been a great room to have, uh... Krampus' head for. Alas, I used it to kill two hollows instead. Which has me looking a little bit, uh, goatish right now. If I had to choose any animal to look like, I gotta say, though, a goat is relatively human-like. It's better than looking like a freaking... I don't even know, like an anglerfish or something like that. You know, that's going to cause all sorts of weird problems for you in, in school. Um, we're going to go, you know, we, we have to explore everything. We're going to go to our curse room, and we're going to go to our boss, mini boss fight, and we're going to go to our library. There's, oh, you just, like, pinched me on the bottom there, and I, uh, I eat shit as a result. I'm very thankful we got through that. Uh, we, we have many books, probably, that we would prefer to have over Krampus' head. Maybe? I don't know. We'll have to take that, uh, you know, wait-and-see approach to that. Because I don't really need Book of Belial for Deals with the Devil. And I would rather have Krampus' head than Book of Belial right now, because I don't really like our killing ability, basically. Even with a lot of damage. Oh, it's not even this, so we, we don't have to worry. Alright, there's 52 bombs. Devil, Hermits, High Priestess. Um, I think a high, high Priestess is uh, the most valuable for us. Because it's... Uh, again, I, I don't really want to augment our damage because I worry about kind of the efficiency of our damage with, with knockback. So I'd rather just... Uh, have something come down from the sky and crush enemies, which is why another item like Daddy Long Legs would be a really nice touch as well. But for now, hey, we made the dream come true. All right, so this is a huge pickup for us. We are now Guppy. We can fly. We're back in the Horror Babylon state, and all of a sudden, this is looking like a very, very strong run. Here come the flies. We had a strong. Oh lord, that's a lot of them. We had a strong suspicion that this probably would happen, but now that it has, I'm very excited. All right, let's make our way to the uh, the boss fight. Now we could get rid of Krampus's head if we wanted to, and uh, now we should also be very, very cautious about the deals with the devil that we take because we have a win. Uh, all we need to do is kind of you know guide it to the exit. We shouldn't give up too much HP for things that are unlikely to work out for us, but I'm not uh, historically very smart about that, so we'll see if that ends up happening here. Explosive diarrhea, not a huge problem. Hematomesis, a, a great pickup. Two? Yeah, that's like the perfect payout. We got a spider out of it. And we got to the HP cap. Yeah, this is this is really good. What else would make this work? Uh, a tech pickup to give us like literally infinite range. Well, no, it literally is maybe taking that a step too far, but you get the idea. 
I didn't even necessarily want to use Krampus' head here. Um, I, I can't really see the foot shadow well. It worked, though. Okay, uh, definitely the Polaroid. We have permanent Polaroid invincibility. And then Razor Blade is totally not worth it, so I will head down to the next floor. And I'm feeling very good. I'm, I'm feeling vindicated in the soy milk pickup somewhat. And, you know, <laughs> every every time I, I deliberately make my run worse in the name of entertainment, I know I've bought myself a little bit of time to continue... You know, humble bragging about the fact that this streak is really impressive, in my opinion. So, I, you know, that if that's the price we have to pay to keep, uh, you know, playing like this, then then that's the price I'm willing to pay for sure. Tears downgrade. Uh, you know, I have to imagine that's not a, an enormous deal considering we've gotten such a huge tears upgrade as a result of soy milk. But I might be mistaken. I might have it backwards. Maybe, uh, maybe it's really, really bad as a result of the fact that we have soy milk. My assumption here is that. Uh, Oh, it's pheromones. I was hoping it was... I was obviously hoping it was uh, hematomesis, I guess, but... It's also a good time to note that we still have the uh, the cancer pickup, so the cancer pickup is going to mean that our second uh, and beyond bits of damage on every single room are only going to count for a half heart, which is really, really nice. And should... Oh, that's awesome. Should give us a really good chance to... Uh, avoid completely capitulating in the face of certain danger. Would be a, a, a poetic way to put it, and even now we don't really have to use Krampus's head very much. Krampus's head is not gonna really do anything for us that we weren't doing already. Strength, eh? If we had Guppy's paw, we could still use, or we could use strength to pick up some extra spirit hearts for now. I like High Priestess; it's kind of a one-shot, uh, you know, deal. But once it's done, it's done. We're back to the HP cap. Still a little slower than I'd like. I'm still hoping or waiting on that Death's Touch pickup. Make our tiers larger, make them do more damage, make them piercing. It's, you know, from a soy milk perspective, there's a lot of very, very positive things that uh, Death's Touch could do for us. It's a long shot, but, you know, give me the choice of Death's Touch, Brimstone, Mom's Knife, I would take Death's Touch out of those three. I would, I would probably try to take more than one. Actually, no, I wouldn't. Man, Brimstone, Death's Touch is kind of annoying. Brimstone, Mom's Knife is funny, but not necessarily that good. And, uh, what was the other combination? Mom's Knife, Death's Touch? It just is like a damage upgrade. Not very good at all. Paralysis. Hmm. Not, uh... Hey, I still have never found a valid use for uh, Paralysis. I think there is no valid use for Paralysis. Unlike Hematomesis, which actually has some cool strategic uh, applications, I'm pretty sure Paralysis is just bad. Even though it's still in the good pool, I think. Sorry, Daddy Long Legs. There's not much chance for you there. We can already fly. I think we just take the tears upgrade, to be honest with you. I would have liked a, a much better payout there. Oh, I didn't. I was trying to hit WASD there while scratching my ear at the same time. Don't laugh. It's harder than it looks. So why don't you try it out for yourself right now? So this should be a win now. We're out of uh, deals with the devil. It's time to take inventory of what our goat head gave us. Uh, two guppy items. And dark bum. And the pact. That's pretty good. It's not the most amazing uh, deal with the devil combination we've ever had, but it's it's definitely solid. It's it's above average for a goat head payout, I'd suggest. Hematomesis is so good. Full health is effectively worthless for us, but uh, it's alright. We got a black heart out of hematomesis. And yeah, I mean, there was literally a purpose... That doesn't help us too much. Uh, there's there was a use for uh, for uh, Spirit of the Night if we wanted it. Where's there it is. Uh, but I don't think it's worth what we would have paid in order to just get uh, Spectral Tears. We can just fly around rocks at this point, and it'll be uh, probably more valuable for us. I am, you know, that's how you know I'm still concerned about HP to some extent. Usually at this point, if we're having a, like a ball out of control style run, I'm like, oh, Dark Bomb, you suck, I don't care. Like, I just verbally abuse it uh, because I'm being an asshole for sport, basically. But in this situation, I'm still, I'm focusing and I'm still letting Dark Bomb pick up, uh, you know, whenever it has the availability to. There's a Tinted Rock back there. We have not gotten Small Rock. Something that would help us out a little bit here, so if we can get it, it'd be nice. More spirit hearts is fine. A golden chest is fine. Like really, we're we're pretty easy going right now. All right, mom's heart will probably be able to stand up for a little while here. This is the the problem, of course, with having a low damage run, particularly a 
precipitously low damage run via soy milk. Every time I say that, I feel like I'm, I'm speaking a different language, and it's surprisingly, I don't want to say off-putting in like a xenophobic way, but my brain is like, excuse me, mouth, what are you doing? Epiglottal muscles. So we have the High Priestess here. Uh, we'll probably use that against Isaac. If we get hit, it doesn't really matter because the getting into the Polaroid Invincibility phase is actually really, really valuable for us. We can do a lot of damage there, not only with flies, but of course with our cube of meat as well. An offensive orbital is really a nice nice addition to pretty much any run. Taking some dumb damage. We have uh, Krampus' head though. We might as well visit one of these rooms down here. A little surprised he didn't finish the job on either of them. We probably, you know, did two jobs half-assed instead of one job full-assed, if you know what I mean. Let me go one spirit heart there. We might as well try for the last one, unless there's red hearts in here. I can't help but think that we can probably get two. Yeah, oh, that was... I didn't mean two spirit hearts, but I appreciate it nonetheless. If that were a red heart, I would be uh, happy about it. Alright, easy spirit heart as well. Or you could just pay out with like a second level cube of meat. That would also be nice. I'm going to give it, you know, your choice. Alright, well, if you want to be a dick about it, that's your prerogative, I guess. We might as well play this guy. I'm hoping for a compass, but let's be honest. We're going to get HP, and then I'm going to be like, oh, we don't even need HP. People are going to be like, yo, Northern Lion, take your HP. There's people that don't have enough HP in other parts of the world. I'm not making light of, you know, world famine. I'm just building a moment here in what is probably a little bit of an inopportune way. Which is my favorite, uh... Wait a minute, what's his name? Who did Copperhead Road? Steve something? Steve... Steve Earl. That's my... F inopportune moment is my favorite Steve and Earl album. Steve Earl, Steven... We're not on... We're on a... We're so close to one another that we actually use more formal names. Like, that's the way our relationship has developed. Alright. Let's stop talking about Steve Earl and start talking about Steve, let's win this run. Most people are not familiar with him. He's a local hero. A soy farmer from uh, Burnaby, British Columbia, Canada, who was very famous for the uh, incredible soy milk runs he was able to induce in the people who consumed his beverages. This is just getting gross now. He was a soy rancher from the, the plains of Coquitlam. I don't know what that voice was, but I'll just apologize to everybody. No red hearts. Few spirit hearts. We had like a one spirit heart down there, so that's okay. It's kind of a, a long run, but I'm happy that I'm paying my dues here with the, the soy milk at least. And definitely this room is not uh, bad enough to justify using Krampus' head. I am actually, this is like... Redemption for me For like for the items I'm using soy milk. It sucks, but we're able to use it semi-effectively here Krampus's head. I don't really like it, but uh, we're able to use it semi-effectively here Come on No bomb synergies, but even though I, I messed that one up. I got lucky to find the secret room I'm not gonna take any credit for that not on this run at least but um, You know the, the bombs are still gonna help out. I'm very thankful for them. There's still a nice little damage boost, and, you know, let's keep it in perspective. We have freaking soy milk, so uh, it's really like a volume thing with our tears that's going to make this workable for us. Yo, give me magic mush. Or a tears upgrade or something. Uh, Liberty Cam. I think I'm better off with the with the flat penny, honestly. Pick up a few extra keys. You never know if maybe we're going to get a lot of golden chests when we go down. Probably not, but I would love to. Looks like we have a pretty good chance of having Krampus' head charged up. Oh my god. Nope. <laughs> That's alright. We'll, we'll get it done, and then we'll use uh, Krampus' head on more difficult rooms on the chest, probably. Alright. Still at nearly full HP. Let's go back. We got a little bit of extra stuff to pick up. Still do not want the HP. Curse of the Maze can suck on my HP. That stands for huge pancakes, which I would love to get right now. Now, my ideal choice of a McDonald's breakfast, I'm more of a, a, you know, biscuit and meat and cheese and egg kind of guy, personally. But, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a personal call. Sausage rounds, man. They need to... 
be a little bit more popular. They get their just dues, alright? There are people who are really big fans of sausage rounds, but you never see them outside of the fast food context. And I understand that the sausage round maybe is looked down upon as a result of its shape, which is clearly designed to facilitate placement on a fast food style breakfast biscuit. However, that does not uh, negate the fact that it is a tasty, salty, uh, and, and almost like, in a good way, briny undertone, which is, uh, it, it really helps kickstart your morning. And don't even get me started on those hash browns, man. The most delicious. Too hot, but you're gonna eat it anyway. Al dente on the outside, rich and creamy on the inside. Monstro's lung soy milk. It seems ridiculous, uh, so we'll do it. And we're gonna d6 the rest. There's a lot of absurdity to be had here. This is a, <laughs> we can tap shoot it. But I think the d6 gives us the best chance, to be honest with you. Um, we could have gone for the undefined plays as well, but I don't know. I want d6 so we can get better synergies with soy milk. And the Monstro's Lung Pickup, I think, is actually making soy milk worse for now. But we can get items that'll make it better. Obviously, uh, not too interested in taking... Uh, not too interested in taking uh, Yum Heart. I really want to take, like, Eagle Eye right now, so all of our shots hit. But then I realize, hey, you know, you're talking about the wrong game here, you ding dong. That's okay. More bombs. This is, like, super not what I'm looking for. If you would be so kind as to give me, perhaps, not bombs, and instead, like, a treasure chest that I could open, like I was a child dining at Red Lobster, full on Cheddar Bay Biscuits, and just hoping to get that crab whistle. Or you can give me a single pen. Like, either, they're pretty much equivalent. I mean, the crab whistle in the end was worth less than the Bisquick used to make the Cheddar Bay Biscuits, let's be honest. But it, you know, it was the thrill of the, the hunt, the excitement of it. They really took it to the next level. To be fair, I don't know if we've taken any luck upgrades in this whole run. We might have taken one. I can sort of recall the most wonderful reindeer of all. Two of diamonds. Uh, it's great if we get money equals power. One of those is freaking Pisces. I can't believe it. It's good for the tiers upgrade, but it's going to knock enemies so far away that I don't think it's, it's viable at all. Um... We're going to stick with what we've got, and we'll go for the triple reroll again, basically. Charlie Conway style. I'm looking for piercing shots in particular, and honestly, I'm a little surprised we haven't even uh, found a reasonable reasonable facsimile yet. That's going to hurt. Oh, oh, we made it out. I can't stress enough that we actually did make our run worse with the Monstro's Lung pickup, which is a testament to soy milk and its weirdness. Let's not die, okay? Like, if we get down to 1 HP, this run's gonna become a lot trickier. This is good, though. Yeah, get the fear. Fear leads to hate. Hate leads to anger. Anger leads to uh, some Spirit Hearts for Dark Bomb. Or some Spirit Hearts for me via Dark Bomb. Ideally. That was not good damage. But in a way, I'm actually a little happy that we took damage early so I can get that, it, you know. Invincibility damage, or the like the, the orbital damage done. You gotta excuse my, my sleep deprived brain right now. I'm also very happy that, you know, despite being in not fantastic mental conditions, I'm not in the terrible place, but you know, suboptimal. I uh, didn't lose the streak at least on the first run. You know, I can, I can feel good about that. We should definitely kill Gluttony last. When you fight the mini boss, do you kill the Gluttony last? You guys have... I guess you wouldn't have that in the United States, right? Because you don't have... A, like, your Smarties are different than our Smarties. This is a standard, like, oh my god, ten things that are different between Canada and America. Number seven will blow your mind. You have candies called Rockets that are chocolate... or candy-covered chocolate circles. Technically, they're not circles. You get the idea, but um, they're in three dimensions. And, we, and Smarties, which are, like, chalky kind of candy flavored. There's a lot of candy going on. So this gives us literally a penny. But we have to go for the triple reroll instead. Um, not smart. Let's make sure we don't do that again. Uh, we have them reversed. Our Smarties are candy covered chocolate circles and our Rockets are the chalky, uh, chalky kind of option. This is just terrible rerolls right now. So we have like a, a ditty. It's a marketing ditty but it sticks in your head. Thanks a lot Don Draper. It's like, when you eat your Smarties, do you eat the red ones last? Yo, 
This is straight out of the fucking 1930s. We have video games now. Literally, we all have in our pockets a computer that can access the sum total of human knowledge and media creation. It doesn't... Just eat them however you fucking want to eat them. Beat them and eat them for all I care, as long as I'm not around. But, you know... I'd like to buy the world a Coke. Is that like... Was there ever... I, did, I was not alive when that song was around and became a smash hit. But I have to imagine that there was no sense of irony associated with that. Like, that would really solve them. Man, you know what the world's problem is? They just need to relax a little bit. Yo! South Sudan? Just relax a little bit. Here, have a Coke, man. Wouldn't the world just be better if we all bought each other Coca-Cola products all the time? I got nothing against Coke, man. I'm just... That is, that is an ingenious, but also a marketing campaign that is very easy to be a little cynical about. You can't... You, I like to buy the world. It's offensive, man. These people need food and water and blankets and stuff. You know, medicine. Education and, you know, social assistance and... No, it's not Coca-Cola. They don't need, they don't need Coca-Cola. Maybe Dr. Pepper, if he's still got his license. His ability to practice. But certainly not a Coca-Cola-based beverage. And again, not that there's anything wrong with a Coca-Cola-based beverage, at least, you know, nothing more than we already know. Is this just the longest chest in Cathedral of all time? Or am I inflating that because I've got some time dilation stuff going on right now? Nerf. Well, let's uh, let's do a triple reroll again. I'm getting a little bit scared because our HP is garbage. Yeah, and that's definitely not going to help. You always got to pay. That's the toll you pay when you backtrack, which is why I'm always so hesitant to do it. Okay, this is all of a sudden very, very good. Two of clubs? That's 99 bombs. So, uh, this... It, we got a very complicated, like, insect laundering scheme going on. That's not the secret room. Uh, we hit enemies with our shitty shots, which creates flies. The flies kill an enemy, spawning spiders, and then the spiders do damage to the real threat. That's the way I'm thinking that this run's gonna go down. I'm not even gonna pick up those keys. Unless you give me a... Unless you give me a gun that shoots keys, we're not going to go down this road. I'll shoot these, and this is how you know I'm a little scared. Uh, I'll shoot these because I would like to pick up some red hearts. We didn't get any. That's okay. Uh, we still, if, if we die and then come back, we have a few different ways to, to try to sell this run. Find a second secret room. You know, a black heart, a bunch of red hearts, an eternal heart. Those all help in their own unique fashion. This helps too, actually. We can now reroll Pandora's box. We got anything? Got anything? It shouldn't be there now that I think about it. We got anything? Maybe we've got something? Hey, there we go, just in time. Well, you know, three or four friendly spiders might actually be pretty nice. I <laughs> it's gonna do some damage, like it's pretty underwhelming, but I'll take it. All right. Here we go. So I'm thinking the most important thing for us here is you just do as much free damage as possible. You know what I mean by free damage. Free damage is damage that doesn't cost us our own HP in return. If we can get like half his HP gone before we get hit, it might be mathematically impossible for us to lose. We can still take a few hits here. Yeah, I think we're probably set. I mean, we should be set. It's largely a result of the fucking stupid damage I took uh, on those red hearts over and over. And I apologize for that, but... Uh, oh, especially with the cancer item, we got no chance of dying. Sweet, we were uh, alive here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. We'll be back with an Isaac run next. For now, thanks for watching. And of course, if you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon.